what we sit down, coach introduces Coach Cheney. He starts talking A, B, C's, one, two, three, then back to A, talking about angles on the floor, talking and, and, and kind of mixing that in with what goes on in life. Mm-hmm. You know, and I'm sitting there looking at this man and saying, that's where I want to go. centralized and if the high school coach was a man of integrity yes and he had moral character there you go. then you could keep all of the ills at bay yeah and even even say for instance even if his character wasn't great mm-hmm. everything was still going through him okay you see what i'm saying so he decides who comes in how much money you paying out what we this is a you can't walk to this door unless you give me let's throw out a number unless you give it up five thousand dollars to talk give, to just to see him, you ain't, you can't talk to him yet. Mm. To come in and watch us practice in the summer, watch a practice just to come in, you got to come up with five. I'm, and I'm throwing out a low bid number. And this is Saginaw, not Chicago. That, I'm talking about different areas. I'm not talking. Okay. About, I'm not talking about Saginaw. I might be talking about Detroit. I might Detroit, be talking about Chicago. I might New be talking York, about Indiana. Atlanta, yeah, Houston. Uh, in, in in my era, no, I mean, it wasn't happening with 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 my coach and, and some of the coaches because they had they were real tight. And it, it, it was about, you know, the athletes and making us better, you know, better, better young men and women. Uh, for them, that's what it was about. And, and, and again, I come from a small place, so the the, the African American coaches had to be tight. Mm-hmm. You know? uh, and then you know, you used to have principals. Like my high school coach still talks to one of the principals uh, of, a, of of Saginaw High School, and I went to Buena Vista High School. They still get on the phone and study together. You know. And when I go home, we sit down and we talk life and we talk everything from basketball to religion to uh, social problems, social economic problems, to to everything, to everything, everything that life goes on. And we'll sit down and we'll talk for hours and hours at a time. We're going to do it once a week, but he does it with him every day. You know, so, 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 so in that context, how does Temple University emerge as the victor? When I'm sure Michigan, Michigan State, Purdue, Indiana, I mean, all the schools, you, you was in the heart of Big Ten territory. They, 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 they were there. Uh, those schools were there. But again, I had, I had an excellent coach who, you know, everything was about developing us, mm-hmm. you know. And all the fanfare was around. I might have been, you know, scrupulous to look at all the mail, but I didn't get all that mail. I didn't want it. Uh, as far as me coming to Temple, that was that was Temple recruiting my 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 uh my teammate. Uh, we played a team. I think it was the Philly Stars. Somebody came down, AU team came down to Detroit, and so we were going to Detroit to play them. And I knew Temple was recruiting him, so my job was to I got to make him shine. He got to mm-hmm. shine because I was running one and two, so I handled the ball most of the time. So the first half I let him shine. You know I gave him all kinds of dunks, all kinds of shots. I didn't try to score. Just defend and play. Second half, I did my thing. You know, mm-hmm. uh, then the next day, Coach Cheney, you know, being on a, on a recruiting trip, came down and and spoke at what we call our summer our summer clinic. Now that's everybody. Everybody can come to our summer clinic from from seven years old on up. Mm-hmm. Everybody didn't come because we had a way of doing things. Our stuff was structured. You come in. You do, you do stretching, you go through powers, which is individual stuff. You get into a whole lot of things before you even start playing basketball. You go into a whole lot of fundamental working. Then after what, we sit down, coach introduces Coach Cheney. He starts talking A, B, C's, one, two, three, then back to A, talking about angles on the floor, talking and, and, and kind of mixing that in with what goes on in life. Mm-hmm. You know, And I'm sitting there looking at this man and saying, that's where I want to go. Oh, you know what I mean? That's where I want to go. I never, uh, if I'd have went to school in Michigan, it would have been Michigan State. Mm-hmm. That was that would that would have been the school I went, I was going to, because Steve Smith and, and a guy, a coach by the name of Herb, was there. He was assistant coach during the time uh, with Judge Hico. So that would have been the school I would have went to. Now Bill Frieder, who's from my hometown, you know, he's from Saginaw. Uh, was recruiting me as well, you know. Mm-hmm. But I just I had never really seen anything. 
the furthest I had been was to Chicago, mm-hmm. you know, because I have family in Chicago. So I'd never seen any world and I wanted to go see some of the world. But after seeing Ghost Changing, that's what I wanted to go.